Hi and welcome to my podcast. My name is Sally and I am Will Diaries on Instagram and on Ravelry. There is a Will Diaries uh, group and basically it's just where I say, hey, I did another one. Um, nothing major. So today's is going to be really quick and because I don't really have much to say, um, Oh la la, since when do I say I'm so muchness? Boys are on holiday. Both boys passed. So that means both boys are going to the next grade, which is grade 10 for Matthew and grade 6 for Deacon. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's hot, people. It's 32. It's hot. It's gross. This room doesn't have aircon. Another reason why it's not going to be very long, or otherwise you're going to see me. I don't listen. I, yes, gross. Gross, 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 gross. I need to get to aircon. So let's start with what I, I, I am full of the stuff to show you, because Sally Jane and myself from the Pink Hair Girl podcast um, are doing an event calendar swap. So there's tons of stuff to show you. Listen, okay, so let's start with day four. Day four. Every day I get a mini skein and a chocolate. It's so cool. So I got that mini skein and that chocolate. This is day four. But day four was the bomb. Diggity bomb. Diggity bomb, 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 bomb. And I got, I'm going to show you some of them, not all of them. I got six. So I'm going to show you three because I don't know how to actually hold them. They are Star Trek baubles, but now she she drew the communicate the communicator on them. They're all different, but you'll just have to live with the fact that you're only seeing three. And then you've got that. They're so cool. They're so cool. They're so cool. If I showed you all of them, I'd be here for four hours. And listen to me, last week when I did an hour, I nearly plutzed at the end. I was dying for the loo. I was like dehydrated. Let's not do that. I was like dehydrated. I was so yeah, finished. So day five, which I had to keep in the fridge. Little mini skein. I love this blue. I don't know what she made out of that, but it's beautiful. Um, another chocolate. See, I kept all my chocolates, eh? I haven't eaten anything, although yesterday I had needed it. I got mulled wine spices to make blue vine. So I got a lovely cinnamon uh, vanilla pod. From the Vanilla Man. Oh, he's South African. I did not know that. From Langabon. Mm, very nice. Oh, and there's all the spices. You'll have to trust me. And then um, there is dehydrated oranges. Oh, it's not divine. Absolutely divine. Hubby says we're going to do that on Christmas Eve to take to my sister. She's going to my my baby sister. Oh, it's my little baby. But, so this is the fifth. I, I need to keep track of these dance. I got the most epicest thing ever. So this is from the two ladies. This is from Rachel and from Sally Jane. Because Rachel did the hand spun and Sally Jane knitted the blue bird of happiness out of it. So I didn't get one, because that's all I asked for. I said I just want one. I got four. I'm supposed to go on the Christmas tree, but I said it's too awesome just to stay on the Christmas, uh, just to be on the Christmas tree. I want to find somewhere. I want Tony to put a hooky on the shelf so I can hang it up on the shelves for me so I can be out all year round. Because it's too pretty to go just on the Christmas tree. So I got that. Then day six came along. And for day six, I got another chocolate, another mini skein. I got, oh no, she spells me rotten, honey and salt toffee from Darling Sweet. Yum, 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 yum. I had the pomegranate. I think it was pomegranate and orange the other day. Oh, it was divine. It was divine. I'm so 
six months in James. Why did that get why did that get knocked in there? Yeah. And then I got a twenty four pack of cedar balls. Mm. And with that, in this beautiful bag, let me tell you, this bag is beautiful. Um, the bird just and finch pure essential oils, the cedarwood one. Oh, it smells divine. I have opened it and smelt it. See, now I'm like, I, I need to podcast because I want to use all my stuff, and I can't use all my stuff until I've told you about it. And I did have a panic just now because I couldn't remember what came on what day. I had to go look at my Instagram post. Day seven, I got another mini scan and I got a, another chocolate and I got and I got sometimes. I write coffee on the to-do list just to feel like I've accomplished something. It's a lovely postcard that's going on my fridge. And then I've got a mug. And it says, I do not spew for profanities. I enunciate them clearly like a mm, lady. Okay? I know some of you have little people that watch. Day eight. Day eight. I got a mini skin. A dark moose chocolate. Maybe. I got. Oh, we both love licorice. licorice. So I got licorice toffee. <laughs> And then I got a sugar skull nail file. And the coolest thing, I haven't even opened it. Okay, mind your ears. Sally Jane got she got this from overseas. I thought it was black, but it's not it's blue, which is even better. Or it's like a purpley colour. I haven't even opened this yet, people. Because I didn't want it to get. <gasps> See, now I'm going to put it on and I'm going to boil like a freaking saver. Oh. 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 Okay, now, really? Even this one is too hot in this room. This room needs aircon. But you see, we're never in this room, so we don't really. But, oh, that and that came from Skull Accessories UK. Very, very, very nice. Of course, I went to go check out the site. Of course. So yesterday, my yesterday was better than Sally Jane's yesterday that she got from me because mine was made by my favouritest four-year-old ever. You know who you are. I got fridge art. That's so cool. That's his little foot. That's so cool. Titus, you're awesome. I haven't had fridge art for a long time because my children are too big. They don't do fridge art anymore. Then I got not one, but two more Titus things. Two tea towels with these handy pandy prints on. Oh, they're so cute, man. I just think they're so freaking adorable. Bestest four-year-old ever. See? Oh, love them. Absolutely. I love it. I don't even want to use them, but I will. Because I know how, how horrible it is when you get a present and then you don't use it. Then I got, and this I really wanted yesterday, but I didn't, I was good, Baby Cakes Chocolate Bar, and it's called the Fudged Up. We both love fudge too. 
This one is fudge and dark chocolate. Get fudged up with twin soft creamy layers of fudge, a double shot of something in French, and a silky center of smooth dark chocolate ganache. Whoa. And it says, eat your feelings. Now, it was open. It's from the in Cape Town, doesn't it say? Tukai. That's what it looks like. Looks like a chocolate bar. But it comes in this beautiful box. It comes in a box, which keeps opening. What was this? This is day nine. Did I show you this? No, I didn't. I got a, of course, an orange money skein. It's actually a very pretty orange one. And more chocolate. Because, you know, she's trying to make me fat. Like I'm not a really fat. We all know I'm fat. And I don't care. Bye -bye -bye -bye. I'm running out of space. Then two days. People, two days. The first thing that came out of today's was the lightsaber pencils. So this is the eraser. And obviously this is the pencil. I've seen these before. And my boys keep wanting them. And I've told them, when they're stationary, actually what they take to school comes home from school, we'll think about it. So now they were both like, oh, mom. I'm like, no, those are mine. Sorry, sorry, those are mine. Those are mine. The next thing to come out was a Darth Vader Pez. How cool. Darth Vader's my man, by the way. He's my, he's the man. Not Anakin Skywalker. Darth Vader is my man. You can see I've been very good. I haven't even opened it. And then... I'm so happy my children are too big and too small for this because this is man. Join the dark side. <sighs> that was my very bad impersonation of Darth Vader. And then I've got a mini stain, which I believe is that Wombles colorway, hey? I think so. She'll tell me just now. No, I'm sure she will. This is the Wombles colorway and another chocolate. So, yes. I'm going to be really poly just now because I'm going to eat all the things all at once. I have a few more things to show you because in the South African swap group, I am also getting a a day by day countdown to Christmas. But I promise it's not so big and I promise it's not so I was looking at all the stuff from Sally Jane and I was like, yes, man, I look like a glutton. I am so spoiled. I look like a glutton. So let's pack all Sally Jane's stuff. Shh! It doesn't fit in my little basket. I'm going to have to upgrade the basket. So, let's just get this right. Well, and I haven't taken photos of today's stuff, so I need to do that. So from Heidi Bears, who is an awesome designer, go check her out on Ravelry. She does those awesome African flower um, animals. Sally Jane's done a few. She is my Star Trek twin. So what I got is I got... She made me... There's quite a few of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven in total. I've got three one day and I've got four another day. But I'll show you them all. I got, it says, look what she did. Look at the ball band that she put on them. Starfleet Command, United Federation of Planets. And then it says on there what it is. And it says, do not feed the tribbles on it. And then it says, boldly knit what no one has knit before. How freaking awesome. Um, let's just see. Let's just find you one. Maybe there's not so much tape over there, do you not? So it says, yeah, 100% superwash merino, 300, that's, 
this is a 7 gram skein and you can see that it says do not feed the troubles. So I got those three colors on the first day. Oh, I love it. I can't wait. My blanket is going to be so freaking awesome. 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 No, I have not touched it. It's too stinking hot. So those can go now with my blanket. Then the next day I opened. My children have these, but I never buy stuff for myself. Cool. It's a notebook. Oops, too high. It's a notebook. I'm a list maker, people. I make a list. And I've got a pen. Now this pen is a maze. My children have been fascinated with this maze. I must admit I am a little bit too. It's a 3D maze and there's two balls in it and you've got to try and get the... Yeah. Yeah. We won't sit there because I'll sit there all day. So there was that. Then the next day what did come was, yes, no, no, I'm confusing myself. Oh, I love this chocolate. I love the, the lint ones, the hello, my name is Crunchy Nougat. I'm a little bit nutty. So it's milk chocolate with crunchy nougat filling. Oh, I'm a little bit nutty. I am. Who is that? My husband. He'll just have to wait. Please hold. Let me just tell him. Message. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Then the second, then the next thing I got, because everybody knows I'm addicted to Regia. And we don't have this colorway here in South Africa yet. I was even at the yarn shop today and they don't have it. It is the one of the Arnie and Carlos colorways. I got 50 grams of this color. I'm so spoiled. That was last week. I got the following day from Lash, which again I have not pre printed. It's called a green bubble, roo bubble room. Crumble under running hot tap to create lots of bubbles and soft, creamy water. It looks like a macaroon, people. It looks like a big fucking macaroon. Oh, it's not so My first stinking nuts. Now so stinking nuts. So now holidays are here, so that means I can have like all the long baths. Just not today, because today I had to get going. I had jobs to do. Gross. Errands to run, should I say? Not jobs to do. I don't do jobs, I do errands. We actually just got home. The time is now three minutes past two in the afternoon. I think this is the latest I've ever recorded because of it. Right, I got the following day 40 inch, which is 100 centimeters, size one, which is 2.25. Chow Goo Premium Stainless Steel Knit Red Lace. Needles for socks. I haven't tried this one. I have not tried this. So, my Christmas socks will be going on to that. Which I don't have with me because I'm a donor. Then today's was more of these little... Oh, I think they're so freaking cute. So I've got four more. So now I'm up to seven. I don't actually want to use them because they're so stinking cute. I have a problem with using stuff that's so cute. She's made them so dang cute. Thinking, thinking, thinking. See, my brain's dead. It's late in the afternoon. We're on holiday, so I don't have to think. You see, my hair's up because it's so stinking hot. I can't do all the hair. 
I can drink coffee clearly when it's 5 million degrees outside. Okay, so last week Thursday, my shoulder was sore. Friday morning I woke up and it was a little bit better. By Friday night, I was literally almost ready to cry in pain. I was so, so sore on Friday night. So Saturday morning I wake up and I went right, that's it, I'm not doing anything. The shoulder needs to get better, I'm not doing anything. So I did nothing, literally, never been so bored in my entire life. Never ever. I was in such a foul mood. Um, oh, yeah. I was, yes, it's not pleasant. I was bored out of my mind. Sunday I woke up, it was a bit better, but I thought, you know what, let's just do nothing again today. Literally, it was so sore, I could hardly even, like, you know, put a shirt on. Sunday, I woke up. It was a bit better. I decided again not to do anything, but this time my husband was like, right, I need to find you something to do. So he went and bought me one of those adult coloring in books. People, they are addictive. They are so freaking addictive. So I, I did some coloring in, which therefore alleviated the, the brain numbingness of not doing anything. I don't know what people do that don't knit or crochet. I really I don't. Because I was bored out my mind and restless. I couldn't sit and do, sit and watch TV or sit or listen. I couldn't, I, I just couldn't. I was restless. I couldn't. So then on Monday, I woke up and it was fine. It was absolutely perfect. It does get a bit stiff after I've been doing a bit too much. So what I've been doing is um, I've been doing, I've been um, monitoring myself how much I knit. So I haven't done as much as what you're all hoping I have. Um, I am still plugging along on my, I call it the blanket. It's not a blanket. It is called the Winter Wheat Cardigan by Atelier Alpha. And it's this one. And it's amazing. And I'm doing mine in a sort of a gradient thing. So it's, every stripe is a different color. And I started this morning before we started running around because we are on first day of school holidays and my children wake up at six. I'm like, really? Really? So where was I last time? I think I was on the silver last time when I showed you last week. Oh, sorry, I've got ends and caught on my job with the balls and something all attached to me. Let me see. So you've got you start off doing the black hole of twisted rib. That took me forever to do. Then you've got the broken seed stitch. Okay, so the black, this is all nurturing fibers. The black hole of twisted rib is the um, vanilla color. The broken seed is called silver fox. The first plain stock in it, which I was very happy to see, is in silver. Then the second, now it gets interesting because on the second set of stockinette, you knit and then you cast off because that's your front. It all makes sense. So the second set of stockinette is um, Evol uh, no, Cape of Storms. And then I'm on another, it's another textured section. I've hardly, I've only done six rows. Sorry, people, I haven't done enough for you to see. And that is in Evolve on the gray. So you can see I've split for the sleeves. Sleeves, I've taken off the front because you knit it. <laughs> but... What I've just realized, well, what I realized yesterday when I was talking to Sally Jane is um, I need to get the body finished by the 19th when I go to Yami's again because the guru of seaming, Mish Babs on Ravelry, is going to be there and it's our last Yami's until January. Well, there will be more, but I don't think many people are going to come. I think there's one more. So I need her to help me do my seamings awful. 
I need her to help me do the seaming because um, you do the body and then you seam that to that. I promise it makes sense in the pattern. And it's definitely one of those that don't read ahead because it doesn't make any sense. But it does make sense when, when you're knitting it. You're like, ah! And I laid it out after I crossed off the front and I'd done a bit of the, the, the next section. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is so little. But then I remembered people were saying on, on, on Ravelry about this pattern that because the rib is so, it's concertina, when you block it, you've got to block it straight. So, I mean, look at that. That's a huge difference from, okay, now I've stretched it, and that doesn't, okay, that's not stretched. From that to, to, I mean, that. I always panic with when I'm doing a construction that I'm not sure about whether it's going to fit or not. But, hey, we will just go. If it doesn't, we'll just frog it. I wasn't enjoying it, I will tell you that, because, um, the way the pattern is written, you do a whole lot of increases every now and again. And it got to 440 stitches. And that's a, a lot, people. A lot to knit. One row was taking me freaking forever. Even though it wasn't twisted rope. One row was taking me you know, donkey's years to get through. Oh, but well, you know what I didn't show you? That's this cool thing that... um. I'm going to leave it on here because it gives it some stability. I'm using my Star Wars bag from, what does she call herself? I know what her real name is. Magic Genie Sews from my friend in Austin, Texas, which reminds me about my business. So Heidi made me this awesome thing as well. I wonder if you can see it. It says United Federation of Planets. It's got the logo and then it's got my name on it, people. Well, come on. Yes, Stephanie, I know. If I put something white behind it, it will focus. Stephanie, you lied. Can you see that? No. Okay. Okay, I'm good now. Okay, so my big news that I forgot to tell you last week is... I'm going to take this. In February, for the... I don't want to lie to you. Please hold. Your, your call will be attended to momentarily. Yo, who's been WhatsApping me while I've been talking to you people? Lots and lots. No, man. Yo, I'm just, I'm just following Hill Country Weavers Knitting Retreat. So I fly out on the... I don't want to lie to you. I'm so unprepared for this and I am so hot. I am bubbling. I fly out on the 17th of February and I come home. I think I'm home on the 4th of March. I think. I got my visa because my British passport had expired. So I have sent it all off. For renewal, I'm just nervous that it doesn't come back in time. So instead of last minute trying to organize a visa with my South African passport, which I'm, I'm, I'm allowed to travel on, but you need a visa for it, instead of um, worrying about whether my passport, my British passport comes back, which you don't need a visa for, I went ahead and got a visa anyway in my South African passport. So I fetched my, my visa in my passport yesterday. So I'm all good to go. 
And I will admit I'm extremely stinking excited. And can I just say a big huge thank you to everybody who made that possible and you know exactly who you are. I'm not going to name names because I don't even know all of you. I will meet you all when I get there. But I do want to say a huge, huge buy a donkey. Yeah, I really appreciate it and I'm so stinking excited. So stinking excited. I'm taking three classes. I'm taking one with Julia Weisenberg, is that right? Coconuts. I'm taking one with Stephanie McPhee. No, that's wrong. Yes, that's right. The Yarn Holland. And I'm taking another one with Clara Parks. Now, Clara Parks, I'm taking a three hour session on swatching. If I do not. A, love swatching, and B, get, understand why you have to do swatching. By the time I've done three hours of Clara Parks, it's never going to happen. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Stephanie McPhee, I'm going to do on Holland. I'm doing um, her Grok Sock or Sock Grok, one of those. All about the socks, because you know me, I'm all about the socks. And... I didn't bring what I bought. I actually did buy stuff. Okay, well, I'll have to bring. You know why? Because I put it in my cupboard. Why did I put it in my cupboard? It's supposed to go in the box. I wondered why the box was empty. Um, and then Julia Weisenberger, Cocoa Knits. I am taking a... It's almost like a finishing school, a finishing class, but it's not. It also teaches you... I teach you a lot. So I'm looking forward to all three of those. I'm looking forward to, I've never been to the States before. I've been to the UK, I've been to Europe, I've been to France, I've been to Germany, I've been to Spain, I've been to, I've been through Italy, I didn't stop, I just think. Um, but I've never been to the States. So yeah, it will be interesting. Um, I believe it's the same as South Africa, so I'm not too stressed that it's going to be winter. Their winters in Texas is apparently the same as our winters, not as cold, not, you know, bare, I can I can tolerate it, no snow. But I will say I have been buying all the things. Um, <laughs> you'll see, um, some of them are still coming in. I have some of them you don't need to see. Like pajamas, you don't need to see pajamas. Um, but yes, even before I got my visa and we confirmed the ticket and everything, I was buying stuff. Because you never know, you know what? I could get to freaking February and there'll be nothing in the shops for me. You know, and it will happen. Although I don't think so. I think, I think February at the end of January they stop bringing in the winter stuff. Must think, I can't remember. South Africans, let me know. So, 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 if you are in Texas, and I haven't confirmed this with people in Texas, that you know who you are, but if you're in Texas, in the thread, in the Ravelry group, I'm going to Austin. It's like I'm saying I'm going to the middle of the Sahara Desert, I have no clue. Um, if you are nearby, Please let me know. Maybe we can organize a meetup. I would love to meet some more of you people. Please, 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 please. So in the thread, let me know where you are. And if you can get to Austin or not. If you can, bonus. If you can't, oh, bummer. But I do know that I'm being taken around yarn shops. I just don't know which ones. We're going to do all the shopping. So. Very exciting. Sorry I didn't tell you last time, but it was so stinking long. Sorry. Okay. So now, let me go, because my children are being very quiet and very good. And I don't know how long that's going to last. After yesterday, they nearly killed each other. Yeah. Fun and games. So, just want to say, if you want to see progress, knit on one thing. And tootsies!